wisdom is a, 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 a dimension of the prophetic anointing that causes God to enjoy your mind. Wisdom. When anybody prays for wisdom, you become enjoyable to the Lord. You become enjoyable to the spirit of God. The more wisdom you have, the less grief you cause the Holy Spirit throughout the course of your life. The more wiser you are, the more conscious you are of what words do when you speak it to people. You understand the effect on whether you're wounding them unnecessarily. Like God didn't put you in a place to rebuke them or sharply speak to them and you do that. When you have wisdom, you recognize the weight of your words. Wisdom is an ability to discern who you're destroying. Oftentimes, there's a multitude of people that destroy people and they don't know that they're destroying the person. Wisdom is the ability to discern who you're destroying. It's also the ability to discern who's destroying you. The more wiser you become, the more aware you are of angelic ministry around you. Wisdom is the highest dimension of the prophetic because the wisdom is making you sharp in recognizing what God doesn't like, what he does like, what to decrease and what to increase. Wisdom is also, it's freedom from jealousy. The more wiser you become, the Bible, I think it says in Romans, rejoice with those that rejoice. So the wiser you become, you're able to rejoice with people and celebrate their favor. You could celebrate their graduation. You could celebrate their advancement. When you become wise, the Holy Spirit will restrain you though you feel like saying something, the more you become wise. So if you look at what wisdom does to your person, it makes you mature. It makes you mature in how you respond, respond to praise. It makes you mature in how you respond to persecution it makes you mature in how you respond to adversity the bible says in proverbs that if you faint i think that's proverbs 24 i may be wrong if you faint in the day of adversity your strength is small so strength has sizes the small strength medium strength large strength extra 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 large strength <laughs> everything large <laughs> there's there's extra large strength you want extra 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 large strength you don't want strength that's small because small strength do not even get you to your promised land Straw, small strength does not let you overcome certain temptations small strength does not keep you dedicated to a divine path. In small strength is disloyalty. In small strength is inconsistency. In small strength, it is backsliding. In small strength, it is reconnection, reconnection with old flings and tings. <laughs> ting one and ting two. In small strength, it is prayerlessness. In small strength, it is the inability to concentrate on the word. In small strength is lust. In small strength, it is not having control over your behavior in hostility. Hostility is where God tests your patience. Adversity is where God tests your faithfulness. 
Persecution is where God tests your loyalty. Pain is where God tests your endurance. Trials is where God tests your focus. Uh, opposition is where God tests your prayers and your praise. The atmosphere of warfare creates a demand for intercession. Warfare is carrying an attachment of intercession. Prayers that are more fervent. Fervent prayer. Fervent prayer. Darkness has everybody's elevation behind it. So when darkness shows up, you know that elevation has been scheduled, but God on purpose postpones that elevation to see how you're going to handle that darkness. Don't misrepresent the wisdom you receive. How you treat people apart from your prophet is how you're treating your prophet. If you disrespect somebody and you don't see my same face on them, you're disrespecting me. If you wrong somebody, if you cut your eye at somebody, if you look at somebody with a fist, you're looking at me with a fist. Everybody that you see around you, how you treat them will be brought, brought into judgment. So wisdom is also recognizing how God is gonna judge you. The measurement of his judgment. Wisdom can prophetically see eternity. The throne of God. You can see his reaction to your afterlife. Wisdom is the highest dimension of the prophetic because you'll see a hundred years from now. You'll understand the reward for how you behave towards each person, even if it's not your prophet. Hide these things in your heart. These are.